Have you heard of the Archangel Raphael? This heavenly figure plays an important role in the book of Tobias and is one of only three archangels mentioned in the canonical scriptures. Despite not appearing in the Hebrew scriptures, Raphael has become a significant figure in the Christian tradition, with the church assigning a feast day in his honor. In this article, we will explore the origins and functions of the Archangel Raphael and his significance in the liturgy and teachings of the church. Welcome to SD Kaysen Courses. Today's topic is the Archangel Raphael. Let's begin. The Archangel Raphael, whose name means God has healed, is not mentioned in the Hebrew scriptures but only appears in the book of Tobias in the Septuagint. In this book, he takes on human form and calls himself Azarius, the son of the great Ananias, while accompanying the younger Tobias on a journey. During this adventure, he protects Tobias from many dangers, including binding a demon that had killed seven of Sarah's previous husbands. In Tobit chapter 12, verse 15, after the journey, Raphael reveals himself as the angel Raphael, one of the seven who stand before the Lord. These seven who stand before the Lord are also mentioned in Revelation chapter 8, verse 2. Of the seven archangels in post-exilic Judaism, only three, Gabriel, Michael, and Raphael, are mentioned in the canonical scriptures. The other four, Uriel, Ragel, Sariel, and Jeremiel, are only mentioned in the book of Enoch, while other apocryphal sources offer different names. We only have a little information about the functions attributed to Raphael besides his declaration to Tobias in Tobit 12. Raphael said that he prayed to the Lord while Tobias was busy doing charitable work, and that he was sent by the Lord to heal Tobias of his blindness and to help Sarah, the younger Tobias' wife, escape the devil. Although the New Testament only mentions Gabriel and Michael by name, it acknowledges the Jewish category of archangels in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 15, and Jude chapter 9. Some experts believe Raphael is the same as the angel of the Lord, mentioned in John chapter 5, based on the significance of the name and Raphael's healing role in the book of Tobias. According to the church, St. Raphael's feast day is on October 24th. The office hymns focus on the archangel's ability to heal and defeat demons. The readings for the first nocturne and the antiphons come from the book of Tobias, while the second and third nocturnes feature works by St. Augustine. The epistle of the Mass is from the twelfth chapter of Tobias, and the gospel is from John 5, 1, 4, which tells of the pool called Probatica, where the infirm would wait for the water to be stirred by an angel. In conclusion, the story of the archangel Raphael is a fascinating one. Despite not being mentioned in the Hebrew scriptures, Raphael plays a significant role in the book of Tobias and is believed to be one of the seven archangels who stand before the Lord. His healing abilities and role in defeating demons have made him a beloved figure in the Catholic Church with his feast day celebrated on October 24th. While we may have little information about Raphael's functions, his story inspires and intrigues those seeking to learn more about the angelic realm. And that was Archangel Raphael.